Hey, what's up? This is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals in beautiful Lauderdale-by-the-Sea. Uh, enjoyed my Thanksgiving weekend from Thursday to Sunday. Uh, water was pretty nice. Went out fishing twice this week, and it was kind of clear. Didn't catch much, but it was still nice to be out in the water. And uh, we still have some nice weather out here. It looks like 71 degrees, too, man. That cool weather's starting to come in. This is why I love Florida this time of year. Uh, not hot beautiful temperatures, uh, and the water is just absolutely gorgeous. However, this week we're going to get into some heavier winds. It looks like I might even be surfing on Tuesday or Wednesday. Uh, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but here nor there, we are back into our lovely winter months again. And you're probably going to wonder what I'm going to say about gold. Well, <laughs> if you followed the gold and silver prices, it got absolutely freaking monkey hammered again. But, you know, I expected it. I tell you about this. I told you when it's going to happen. I told you how it's going to happen. And uh, I can't, well, why? Well, greed. Greed is why. So I don't think I've ever told you why, but it's really simply explained in one word, greed. Uh, so markets did get monkey hammered today. And uh, it, they got monkey hammered Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Uh, they were closed on Thursday, so they didn't really get monkey hammered too much uh, in the world markets. On Friday, they got monkey hammered again. Uh, but again, it's what I've been talking about uh, for quite some time with gold, silver, uh, gold and silver markets, it's uh, they're hits. They're hit jobs, more or less. Uh, it's paper trades. It's not real gold or silver being traded. It's paper trades. It's a dog or the tail wagging the dog. This is basically large institutional selling that goes in. Uh, again, I've explained it before. Uh, JP Morgan, I think it was, uh, again, I keep forgetting which big company it was, but just got fined nearly a billion dollars uh, for exactly this kind of behavior, and it's still happening. No one goes to jail. They just get fined big, but they make twice as much money as they get fined or more, so they don't mind doing it, and they get a slap on the wrist, and they pay off the government uh, uh, people that are supposed to be watching them with fines, and that guy that got the case and, and, and found him doing it gets himself a bigger office in the corner. Meanwhile, again, nobody gets hurt but the small guys. Typical, uh, uh, typical uh, Wall Street, typical uh, business environment out there with big corporations. Uh, they don't mind breaking the rules. They just will pay the fines. As long as they make more money than the fines, they're cool with that. Anyways, if you or I did it, we'd be buried under the jail. So it's just more hit jobs on gold, silver, and platinum. But I'm not worried about this. I've seen this for like, gosh, damn, 20-something years I've been watching this type of behavior. Uh, and nobody does anything. And it never lasts long. It lasts temporarily long enough for these people to get in there and, and I guess, buy at lower levels or whatever it is they're trying to do to scam us or <laughs> scam people. Uh, but anyways, it's just another hit job. And again, they don't last long. Gold and silver are going to continue to climb because, because of the dollar. They're just ruining the dollar. So these little, uh, uh, these declines that you see, even though we had a really major decline in the last two months, we've gone from uh, uh, almost $2,000 gold down to $1,750. But again, it's just on paper. It's not physical sales at all. This is just paper trades going on, and it's greedy motherfuckers. Excuse my language, and I know Marcelo b b uh, <laughs> took that out. So uh, it's just greedy people uh, taking advantage of markets and uh, manipulating markets. And they, they don't just do gold and silver. They do the stock and bond market. They do everything. Gold and silver is just a little easy market thing to run into, uh, make themselves a couple billion dollars, and then uh, walk out of. But again, unlike those other markets, gold and silver is real, even though it, it is uh, traded, you know, in, in paper, it, it is real. And uh, uh, it's a tangible product that's, uh, there's only a limited amount, and they can uh, screw with these paper prices all they want. However, the physical prices in the long run are going to just continue to climb and climb. So if you own real gold in your hands, uh, I think you're going to be better off for it uh, down the road. Besides, no margin calls with that either if you have gold in your hands. So no worries, folks. I've seen this before. I've seen it. I can't tell you how many times I see it. I used to get pissed about it, uh, get really upset, uh, throw things around, a little bit, which is not my normal. It's not. That's not me. But uh, sometimes those hits would really be big. And when I, I'm in business, so there are times when I have to sell my positions. And uh, uh, if I get hit for a week and I'm in a position where I have to sell, it hurts me. But if you're an investor, really, unless you had to sell to pay for a bill and you absolutely had to sell your metal, metals, uh, gold or silver, you got nothing to worry about. There's no worries whatsoever. Unless you had to pay a bill, like I said, or you had a 
something big come up and you had to sell the metal to do it and you're stuck uh, this week and last week with these low prices or actually the last few weeks with these low prices. Uh, that's the only thing that hurts. It hurts when you have to sell it. But if you don't have to sell it, there's no worries whatsoever here. Uh, just hang on to it. Uh, these, uh, these hit jobs, this monkey hammering will go away. It won't take long. The dollar is going to get so trashed it's not even funny. And the big banks are still predicting gold and silver prices much higher next year. So again, this is just a buying opportunity. If you don't have to sell, don't worry. In fact, just go to sleep and ignore the prices for a few weeks. Uh, <laughs> uh, this, this market will recover soon. As soon as the stock market, the bond market, and the dollar really start to take a dump and just continue to fall, uh, that's when metals will really shine. And trust me, folks, it is going to happen, period. Anyways, let's move along here. I uh, talked about Bitcoin. Did, I did a little uh, a YouTube video on Bitcoin this week. I hope you got a chance to see it. Uh, it's on our YouTube page, uh, Bitcoin versus Gold. Um, and it seems to be kind of a little popular video. So uh, uh, I think there's some interesting things in there you should watch. Uh, it is, it, I, I'm simply explaining the benefits of both gold and Bitcoin. So I think you may enjoy that. Uh, here's something here. Bitcoin tops 19,000 bounces back from Black Friday fall. Uh, but one of the things that I, I pointed out in uh, uh, my, my uh, video last week on Bitcoin versus gold was that, and they kind of gloss over it in all these articles. Shortly after Thanksgiving, Bitcoin dipped to 16200 from a high of 19000 News broke that the Chinese government has seized $4.2 billion in cryptocurrencies as part of the uh, Ponzi scheme corporate blah, blah, blah. Uh, rumors swirled that the tokens were poised to be dumped on the open market, crashing prices further. Uh, but this gentleman believes that uh, a majority of the, the Bitcoin had already been sold. However, that's not the point, the fact that they were going to sell all this Bitcoin that they had confiscated. This is what scares me, and they totally gloss it over, and they don't even talk about it in this article, and I don't even think the Bitcoin people are talking about it, is the fact that the Chinese government seized $4.2 billion in cryptocurrencies. They, they're making crypto is illegal in China. And I've been saying that it's only a matter of time before they do this in the United States. But I don't think they're going to make cryptocurrencies illegal. I think they'll probably make private cryptocurrencies illegal or they'll heavily, heavily regulate them. Uh, but what they will do is they'll create their own cryptocurrencies. But meanwhile, again, I think the, the most important thing in this whole article is that the Chinese government seized $4.2 billion in cryptocurrencies because they made them illegal. I see that happening across the world. If, if not illegal, they're going to heavily regulate it, and then they're going to use it themselves. But if you want to know more about this, make sure you take a look at my video, which I did last week on cryptos versus uh, gold and silver. Uh, let's move along to the Wall Street Journal here. As I told you, I canceled my subscription, so every time I go look at the headlines, because that's all the Wall Street Journal and these corporate publications are good for anymore, just their headlines, you, you can read, uh, you can know everything about the article almost in their headlines. <laughs> it's just gotten so stupid. It's like they're written by third graders or something. Uh, anyways, as you can see, they want me to come back. They want me to spend my $500 a year, and I refuse because what a horrible publication they've become. Uh, they don't do any reporting. They just try to manipulate manipulate people and they work for big Wall Street interests. They don't work for the small guy, trust me in this. Anyway, let me close that. And the only reason I like to look at the front page is actually is because they have a little stock ticker over here. And again, I don't have to read the articles to kind of understand exactly what they're saying. It's, it's not worth the money, in my opinion. Um, but where was I? Uh, uh, I saw a little article down here. Uh, where is it? And now, of course, I don't see it. But basically, it talked about Stock market's rally is finally widening. Uh, I don't see it on here, actually. They must have taken it down. But it, it had something to do with all the money printing and the fact that uh, somebody felt in the Wall Street, one of the uh, writers in the Wall Street Journal felt that uh, we're going to see everything come to roost next year. But anyway, I can't find the article. No point in discussing it. Uh, however, let's see what the markets are. Uh, what time is it? 9.12, so the markets are open. Dow's up just a tiny bit, but we're not here to talk about the Dow Jones. Anyways, I think what's going to happen is, uh, you know, all those dollars and all that money printing and uh, the, this endless run-up with the Dow, I mean, <laughs> it's a bubble. The stock market's a bubble. The dollar's a bubble. It's just waiting to be pricked. And when it does, gold and silver is going to explode, and uh, the rest of the uh, markets are going to just die. Um, however, as I told you, 
when the Dow collapses and the economy collapses, you will see gold and silver collapse as well, but it'll be only temporary, and it'll shoot right back up, and physical metals will be very, very, very difficult to find. I've seen this happen twice already, uh, so I suspect it's going to happen again. And the only reason metals prices dive when the economy collapses like it did in 2008 during a big financial collapse, uh, it did. It literally dived overnight and over the course of a week. And uh, But the problem was you couldn't find any physical metal. There were no sellers of physical metals. There were huge premiums at the time. So you really, it was hard to take advantage of that dive it did. But gold and silver and platinum quickly shot up afterwards while the rest of the market just lagged behind and uh, finally caught up years and years later. Anyway, we're still in a bull market with gold and silver and platinum. Uh, these, these falls like this just provide a lot of people with the opportunity to buy. Uh, and we are probably going to come down to the point, I can't see how they can hold this together much longer and they can keep printing and printing and printing like they are. I just can't see it. Um, I'm thinking maybe by the holidays we're going to see a complete... Uh, I don't know. I don't want to say an economic collapse, but I think we're going to see some bad things coming up. I hate to put times on it because, again, uh, never underestimate the power of central banks. They can, you know, they endlessly can print this money. And But when it finally does happen, it's going to happen big. And uh, I'm almost thinking it might happen during the holidays here. We're going to see some uh, bad times. Uh, anyways, let's move along to markets, see what's happening. I'm going to refresh the page. It was lower than this. Uh, and let me take a look and see what the market is right now. Uh, it's up a little bit. I seen it down. No, oh, there it is. Seventeen sixty six on the world spot prices and uh, seventeen ninety. So we've dipped below that eighteen hundred. Uh, not by an awful lot, but enough to make a lot of people nervous. And again, like I said, just relax. Everything's cool. Uh, I've seen this happen so many times. It's not even funny. Uh, the only thing that I regret is that I don't have enough money to buy more <laughs> to to cost average down a little bit at these prices. And uh, I'm sure some of you are feeling that as well. Some of you smart, savvy gold and silver investors are wishing you had more money to invest and uh, uh, buy at these lower. You know, as they said in the stock market for years, buy BTFD, buy the fucking dips. Uh, and that's what we should do be doing with gold, silver, and platinum, buying the dips. Again, we are in a, a full-blown, uh, I won't say full-blown, but we are in a, 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 a bull market with precious metals. We have been for a while, and we will continue to be. And as long as the dollar continues to go into the shitter, we are in a bull market. And quite frankly, folks, the dollar is in a shitter, and it's going to get worse. So again, as I said, relax. Don't worry about these prices falling. The only regret you should have is not having more money to buy the dips. Uh, let's take a look at silver. Silver really got monkey hammered as well. Look at that, 22.13 down 60 cents. Uh, however, but if you know silver, when, when gold moves, silver is just freaking erratic. It makes over. The, the moves it makes are really, really big. Uh, we didn't see it dip below that 22. Oh, actually we did. We saw a low at 21.92. It doesn't look like it stayed there long. Um, and uh, let's see, New York is open, 1771, 22.13, so we're above that 22 and above that 17 uh, mark. I'm curious to see what happens today uh, in markets. Um, I suspect it's going to stay about the same. However, I don't see how much further they can uh, uh, monkey hammer this down uh, before you start to see a whole bunch of buyers step in, uh, you know, institutional buyers as well. Um, but uh, anyways, uh, as I said, I think that if you're holding on to gold and silver, uh, don't panic. Just relax. This, this is just a bump in the road for you. Uh, and again, if you have the extra money, buy the friggin' dips. Good, good opportunity to buy these dips, in my opinion. And I would do that uh, at these levels for sure. As I said, relax. Everything's cool. <laughs> and don't forget to check out my uh, Thanksgiving special uh, video, Bitcoin versus Gold. Uh, I think you'll find it interesting, and please make some comments down there, too. I'd, I'd sure like to hear more from you folks, uh, whether it's questions, criticisms, whatever it may be. Uh, open to hearing it, and uh, if it's something that you can teach me, man, thank you. Uh, <laughs> that's what it's all about, is teaching each other. Anyway, uh, this is Brian Kuzmar with Commercial Rare Coins and Precious Metals. Uh, finishing up our Monday update. I will get back with you tomorrow. Let's see what happens today. And give me a call anytime at 954-493-8811. We're open 10 to 4, Mondays through Fridays. We're happy to give you uh, uh, precious metal prices, give you advice, give you tips, uh, let you know what the best products to buy uh, uh, during the day or this day or this week or whatever. Uh, always there to help you and uh, feel free to give us a call anytime. Thanks for watching and let's see what happens tomorrow. Have yourself a great day. Bye.